Hi, I thought we'd do some tapping today on telling the old, old story. I suddenly found myself today singing Tell Me the Old, Old Story, which my dad used to sing to me when I was little. And I realised I've been in danger of doing that again. You know, we all know clients who come to us and they tell the same story again and again and again on a loop and they don't seem to want to get out of us, out of it. And of course, we're just the same as our clients. You know, there are times when we get really wedded to our story, really stuck to it. And one of the reasons we want to hold on to our story is often because nobody has ever acknowledged it. You know, if you have been badly hurt by somebody or something, you know, unless somebody has acknowledged that it really happened to you, you know, that small part of you, that young part of you, will often want to hold on to it and nurture it and nurse it until it's grown so big that somebody will notice. And then we'll, we'll acknowledge that you've been through that and that it's been really painful and that you're justified in feeling the things that you're feeling. And often for us as well as for clients, you know, there's a desire not to let it go until it's been acknowledged. And we all know that often the person who created whatever that was for us has long gone. They may be dead, they may be out of our life. It could have been a teacher when you were five and you may be 55 now. They may be dead, they may, you have certainly been out of your life for years and still a part of you is frozen in that moment, wanting them to say sorry. And, and I notice that I'm doing that right now and I'm don't want to be doing that anymore. Uh, I thought I'd grown past it, ho, ho, ho. And then suddenly it comes up and bites me in the bum again. And it takes a while to realise what I'm doing. And part for, partly for me this time, it was somebody actually did acknowledge what had happened, not the person who'd created the problem in the first place. But somebody did. And so then I was going, yes, and there was this, and there was this, and there was this, and there's more justification and more justification. And I keep going. And actually then that separates me from, from the person who created the problem in the first place. It separates me from my higher self, the part of me that doesn't need to do that. And actually I'm more interested in becoming who I really am and I'm allowing my light to shine than I am in retelling that old story. But just for a while I really had to be in there and do it. Um, and I'm glad I've recognised what I'm doing and I've done some work on it. But I thought I'm not the only one, I'm sure there's lots of other people out there who will also be having the same, the same telling story stuff going on. So I thought I would do some tapping on this and it'll help me. And it'll obviously help you too. Um, and if you want to share with me what your story is, just email me. Jackie, J-A-C-Q-U-I at JackieCrooks.com. Let me know what your story is and how you're dealing with it. Um, and if you want help, of course, email me and we can set up a session or there's things on my website that you can, you can tune into, um, JackieCrooks.com. Lots of free resources there for you. So let's start tapping. Even though it's my story and you're not taking it away, I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself. Even though I've been holding on to this story for most of my life and you're not having it, I'm not letting it go. I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself. Even if I don't love and accept whoever helped me to write the story. Even though I've got that story and I'm just going to keep telling it and you can't stop me. I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself anyway. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. You can't make me stop. You can't take it away. It's my story and I'm going to keep telling it. And I'll tell it and tell it and tell it until somebody says sorry. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And the part of me that so needed that hurt to be acknowledged. Even though I was so hurt. Even though I felt all of these feelings based on it. And I probably created a whole lot of beliefs and vows and decisions based around it. 
and one of them is I'm going to keep telling this story till you tell me you're sorry. I deeply and completely love and accept myself and that child in me that needs acknowledgement of what it went through and I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself. And even though it's my story and I think I want to stick to it but I'm not sure it makes me happy. I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself. And maybe the other people involved. It's my story. I think I'm going to stick to it. Doesn't make me happy. I'm not sure what would make me happy. I really want someone to acknowledge what I went through. And to tell me I'm right to feel these things. And I wonder if I could allow my adult self to acknowledge to my younger self that it's true I went through that. That that is my story. And that I'm justified in feeling all of those things. And even though I may be really justified in holding on to all of that stuff, And I may be justified in keeping it for the rest of my life. It really doesn't make me happy. And it does keep me stuck. And I wonder how it would be if I could recognise that I am me because of the story. And that maybe I could take what I've learnt and move on and allow myself to do it differently. Even though I was so hurt, I was so traumatised and I've been stuck. I choose to acknowledge what I went through. I choose to nurture that young part of me and let it know it's okay. That part did the very best it could at the time. And now it doesn't have to keep trying. My adult self can take care of it. Keep it safe. And together, maybe we could change the story. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I could change the story. And I'm not sure if I want to. I'm okay anyway. Even though I could rewrite it. Or I could add extras in. I'm okay anyway. Even though it's my story, I choose to recognise that it's actually only part of the story. And I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself and maybe the other people involved who didn't do a great job but maybe it was the best they could do at the time and even though this is my story I'm open to the possibility that it could be a serial there could be more that I haven't added in I could re-edit it, add in some of the missing things because there may be things in that story that I haven't put in 
because they didn't match those feelings. And I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I'm open to the possibility I could not only edit that story, I could write a sequel that matches who I am now. Because I'm not the me that was stuck with that story. I'm no longer powerless. I'm no longer scared. I'm no longer hurt. And if I am, at least I know I can tap on it. And maybe it's time to move forward. Recognising the strength that is in me. Recognising the light that is me. Allowing myself to grow and expand and fill all the me-shaped space in the universe. Because that's what I'm here for. And I'm open to the possibility this might be easier than I think. It was my story and that's the truth. And it was a version of it. There are other stories. There are other things I can add to it. And maybe it's time to write the sequel. Showing how I've grown. Showing my strength and my light. Allowing me to expand into myself. Because only I can do that. And I deeply and completely love and forgive and accept myself. And maybe the other people involved who were just doing the best they could. And if you want help in editing or altering your story, give me a ring. Or come and join in one of my workshops. Or Look at the free videos on YouTube. I look forward to sharing with you your story. Bye.